Some e-bikes out there are so powerful, they border the line of being way too powerful. But whether you're out there blazing your own trail, going to higher places, going up a steep grade, or you're trying to go to that place that's even further out there, further away, a place you might not have been able to get to before, that excessive power sometimes feels just right. Hey everyone, this is Cohen from Riverside Homestead Life. That's me, right there. And what I'm showing you today is the Himaway Cobra Pro, the most powerful e-bike I've ever rode. So today we're gonna show you one bad mamba jamba of an e-bike. Welcome, if you guys are brand new to our awesome community where we do prepping tips, emergency preparedness how-tos, and we go over news and awareness stuff that you probably wanna know about, and we do occasional gear reviews. So you happen to find value in that, be sure to hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. You take one look at this bike, and you're thinking, one of the better ones. And like I said, when you take a closer look, you're gonna see a better rear suspension. I mean, seriously, you got four inch tires considered a fat tire. What do you call a 4.8 inch tire? A mega fat tire? And let me tell you, when riding this thing, compared to other e-bikes that I have, the suspension on this bike, when floating over gravel, when going across rocks, uneven terrain, makes you feel like you're floating. And whatever you can do on flat ground with this e-bike, what makes it really crazy is the powerful motor and allows you to do all that same stuff going uphill. It says it does a thousand watts, but we all know this thing's got more power than that. It'll eat a small sprocket for breakfast. So let's dive into some of these components. What makes this bike different than say another e-bike? Well, one thing is, this particular bike is like for the professional, the guy that wants the best of the best, crazy amount of power, much more power than what you're gonna see on other bikes that are sold out there. Like I said, this kind of bike is for the professional. So now a lot of you that have been watching this channel, you guys know that I have test drove a lot of different e-bikes. And when it comes to all the e-bikes that I've rode, this by far is the most powerful e-bike out there that I personally have driven. I am not joking. You do not even have to pedal. And you push that button and you better be hanging on because it's got some serious thrust. And I'm a big guy. If you're 250 plus, this bike is gonna haul you around quick. And if you're under 180 pounds, you better hang on for dear life and probably have a parachute. Now this thing is a Himaway Cobra Pro Graphite. I think they call it the King Cobra. Now I think I've seen this thing in camo, forest green. This thing has incredible power from a 1000 watt mid drive it's fast if you're the person that's got some crazy hills and you want to be able to go up a hill without pedaling this is one of the few bikes that can get that done and remember as always i do these reviews for you guys there's always going to be affiliate links down in the description below i know a lot of you out there have something like this on your wish list so my goal is to get you some good information provide a link for you to make it easy because it's always nice knowing someone that has ridden one of these getting a good recommendation is better than going out there blind and also a bonus by watching youtube guys like me that review view products like this from time to time, often time comes with some coupon codes. Another bonus to watch and reviews. So let's check out this mid drive and how powerful it is going up a hill. Now I'm telling you, I've went up some hills and this thing will do 15 miles an hour up a hill. Like I said, this thing is crazy powerful. If you're interested in something with this much power, stick around and watch the whole video. So for starters, this isn't the cheapest bike out there. It's an excellent price for the quality and the stuff that you get in a bike like this. But like I said, when you want the best of the best and you wanna shine above the rest, you're gonna pay more for quality. And for this type of quality, across the board, really hard to beat the price tag on what you're getting. So what you guys are seeing is dual suspension and it gives this bike an incredible ride, super smooth. I mean, seriously, I heard of some people that bought a special bike smaller motor price tag was twice as much coming in at like six thousand bucks that's why i'm reviewing this bike because you're getting a better bike for a way better price now what you're noticing about this one it's got super huge fat large tires and that's going to keep you above sand and gravel it's got those amazing cst roly poly tires these tires are by far the biggest tires i've ever rode on any kind of e-bike. Now, the nice thing about these grips is they are locked into place. They are going to not move on you, not twist. And it's got this really nice heel pad for the thumb right there. Super incredibly comfortable. You'll see you got your shifter right there. You got a little bell on this side over here. You've got your throttle, you've got your control panel, and that's gonna control your colored 
LCD screen. And having a quality Shimano 10 speed is gonna get you about anywhere you wanna go. Having that 10 speed, it is no exaggeration. You'll be going up super steep hills, even in fourth gear. And I'll show you this, you can hold down on the plus button and over here you'll see that it'll switch between eco mode and sport mode. Just holding it down again, it'll go right back over to the other mode. And those will differentiate between red and green. And I'll tell you another thing. I was accidentally in eco mode and I did a ton of stuff out in the hills, going up hills, and I wouldn't have even known that I wasn't in sport. I can't say how super impressed I am with all the high level components on this thing. Don't even know how this thing's legal on the road because you will keep up with traffic with this e-bike. And I mean, you won't even need to be pedaling to do that because you guys know any bike, any scooter out there can hit the tarmac, can hit the pavement with no problem at all. How well does a bike perform on the off-road when you're blazing your own trail? heading up steep grades. Like I said, an e-bike like this one makes it a cakewalk. Now I like to be fair and give some downsides to certain things that I review. And a downside to this bike would be it's pretty darn heavy, which means lifting it into the back of a truck or something like that could be a challenge. So what I would recommend is removing the heavy, long lasting, awesome battery it comes with to make it that much lighter. But alongside that, where that battery and that weight is mounted is at such a low spot on the bike, it makes the bike feel way lighter than it really is. Now, as you can see on this thing, it's a bad boy motor. It's a Beefang 1000, but it kicks out 1200 watts. And here you got high quality aluminum. I mean, this thing is incredible, folks. This thus far has been the nicest bike I've ever rode. So like I said, this one here is the graphite carbon fiber, uh, the, uh, there's another one that looks like a snake skin. It's pretty darn cool too. Right here, you got a battery secure lock, just like that. Easy toggle, 20 amp battery. This guy's coming in at I think a little bit over 11 pounds. But I'm telling you, the way that this thing is designed is just, I mean, it looks like you're looking at a gold nugget, I tell you what. When you have a very high quality e-bike, even any e-bike, something you might wanna look into is a quality bike lock because the last thing you need is someone ripping you off. This thing seriously has like a Mr. T chain in there. After receiving this high grade style of e-bike, I was like, uh, yeah, I definitely need to secure it. So these kryptonite locks, definitely a good lock system if you're gonna have a serious bike like that. So now, as you can see, dual air suspension right up here. You got your adjustments right up here, tons of clicks. Dial it in just how you like it. Right down there, you can see the preload air fitting in case you wanna add some air. And that also comes with an adjustment down here to adjust that. And back here, you can see the DNM rear shock. You got the lock. Now you can stiffen that thing up real good. Adjustability, air also. This is incredibly a really nice rear shock. Now I told you before, this thing handles some weight all the way up to a 400 pound rider. But I will say if you are pushing the 400, you might wanna add some air to the shocks. The extremely comfortable seat extends to a really high height so it can accommodate some really tall riders. Tetro disc brakes. Another thing that I really like about this bike is the minimalistic wiring. As you can see, it stays together and disappears. It comes with a really nice headlight. It also comes with a rear light. As you can see, there's different mount positions right there. You've got rear rack mounts. So what I'm saying is I'm a big guy and this thing can haul my butt around like you wouldn't believe. I can't wait to get this thing up into the high country on some hardcore trails. Power on this thing is incredible. So there you guys go. I know it's probably just a select few out there and hopefully this was very entertaining for some of you. Maybe some education on e-bikes if you don't know too much about them. Please give this a thumbs up and let us know what you're thinking down there in the comments below. If you guys think also that this e-bike looks like a pretty rad e-bike. And as always, these guys usually give us a pretty good discount code and a link that I'll put down in the description below. Also, I'll pin it in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed that review on the Himaway Cobra Pro. Keep repping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.